Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is 100% hopefully all about our new horse Gracie. Oh you guys, this is the story of Gracie. The story of Gracie is we know her. Anyway, welcome to today's video and it is going to be an exciting day. So basically it is Thursday morning. We have lessons today at noon. You probably all knew that because, because I have on my riding hair. I'm gonna show at a horse show soon and then I need to get the heck then I need to get the heck busy because I do not know what I'm doing still. I don't even know if I should show. Like I mean it's true I got my wagon here. I do see kids that don't know what they're doing in the show ring, but, uh, and I do see some adults that don't know what they're doing, but I don't think anybody at the show doesn't know what they're doing more than I don't know what I'm doing. And it's been like almost two years I've been riding, you guys. Almost two years, and I, I still don't have it. So we are picking Gracie up today. Woo! Picking Gracie up today. And Sam took the girls because anytime that he's gone someplace and the girls get a choice, hey, do you want to go with that or stay and help clean? Um, yeah, they, they choose to go. I'm gonna clean up the barn before Fiona arrives because I don't want any messy stalls when our trainers get here. You know what they're like. Um, so I'm gonna put this camera up on a tripod if I can find my tripod. And I'm gonna tell you how we got Gracie. The story of how we got Gracie. Now, if I could just find the tripod. There is no tripod. There's no tripod. I do not know where the tripod is, so I'm just going to have to try and work and hold the camera and tell you the story of how we got Gracie. You guys are used to that from us, I feel like, uh, doing whatever we can to get the video made. Sometimes it's not perfect, and that's okay, because I'm not a perfect girl, and that's okay, too. A lot of people have been reminding me about my spelling and grammar, <laughs> and yeah, that that's me, too. I'm a fast girl. I'm a fast moving woman. I have so much energy. You guys, I have so much energy that I am always moving. So anything that takes like time for me to stop, slow down and concentrate is really difficult. And that's a whole other story about when we ordered Finn's boots for camping, but that is for another day. Gracie's story with us goes way back to Stella's story. Uh, if you are new to our channel, then you might not know that um, we boarded Storm and Stella at a nearby farm that was an amazing farm. And Stella foundered there, and our vet said, you need to take her home, and you need to do these things for her if you ever want to ride her again. So uh, we brought her home, and we weren't ready. Um, we Our barn, we just moved here. Like It was just a crazy situation, and we brought her home, and she was alone. And she actually did okay alone, but she was on stall rest for a little while, and I felt really bad, and I knew that Stella needed a friend. We had already planned to get this mini Willow, and we decided to bring her home as soon as possible so that Stella wouldn't be alone. So, yeah, that, that's how Gracie's story starts with us. We got Willow to keep Stella company while she was not doing well. And um, it was an amazing few months. It was February, March, and eight, February and March. All of February and all of March were amazing with Stella and Willow. They took to each other so quickly. Uh, there were a little bit of drama, if you guys that it saw in past videos, when they first got introduced to each other. But they settled so fast and they became quickly such best friends. And it was an amazing time. And we didn't just get Willow for Stella. But... I mean, we love her. We don't always show everything that we do with her, but we love her, and she's coming around so well with us. And um, so now, fast forward, it is show season, and I am wanting to show Stella, and we're wanting, I'm wanting to ride Stella, and I'm wanting to trailer Stella to the barn where we take lessons, where the girls take lessons, and I'm wanting to do more with her as uh, my riding journey progresses, and we can't because we have Willow. <laughs> So that's how I think it must always happen with people and horses and why you can never just have one. So basically, we got Willow to be with Stella. And now Stella doesn't need anybody to be with her. But we have Willow. And Willow 100% needs somebody to love. She is the kind of pony that needs a friend. She gets really stressed out if she's left alone. So we do everything that we can to keep her with us. But 
it's been really stressful, really hard, especially when we want to go on a trail ride. We're like pulling Willow along with us. And you guys know, like we minis can't always keep up with big, huge horses. And so either somebody stays back and watches Willow or like Willow's not picky. She's happy to have one of us as she is to have a horse with her. But it's just been a really big struggle. And to move on, we really want to be able to leave Willow home sometimes. Like we still love her, we still want her. Like she's amazing. We never wanna get rid of her, but we need something for her now. And um, so I said to God one day, you know, God, I've been all around in my mind how we're gonna figure out this situation. We've tried bringing her with us. We've tried, um, like we brought her with us a lot of places and it's just been a struggle. So then came all the questions. God, should we get a horse for Gabby to move up on? and stay with Willow. Should we get um, a, a big, a, should we get another pony that could stay with Willow but that would really double as a horse that my grandchildren should ride? Should we get a pony that is big enough that my kids could ride it and train it and keep it in, in shape for my grandkids? Like there were so many questions. You guys know what, buy, if, if you guys know what buying a horse is like, it's never so fun, it's never a fun situation. It's never a, hey, I wanna, dappled gray gelding about 13 years old I'm gonna go out and buy one because they're looking for horses is, is brutal and you never know what you're gonna get you never know what you're gonna get and then adding them to your herd already is so stressful like buying horses is so stressful and then it's just it's just not been a pleasant experience for me so I finally, I, I went around with all these questions. I talked to God, I talked to my friends, I talked, everybody had a different opinion on what we should get. And I finally said one night before I went to sleep, God, I'm gonna give this to you because if we're meant to get another horse, you gotta choose it, you gotta bring it to me, you gotta send me this horse because I do not have what it takes to go out there and fix this situation for me. And so I left it in God's hands. I, I, I left it in God's hands and, and I walked away from the situation. And in the past this has worked for me a few times. So I knew that if God wanted me to get another horse for Willow, that he would send me the horse. So anyway, I, always Gracie was always on the radar for me she was a lesson pony at our um, at the barn that we drive into where our coaches teach and she's adorable and she's cute she's bigger than Willow but she's still small and her personality is so fabulous she is such a friendly little girl I suspect she's had a happy life um, she was used all last year in the show season and she toted around a bunch of little kids and um, then she sat a lot for the winter. I really became aware of her when our friend Kaylee started to school her um, in this year's show season so she could get back and ready for um, other little kids to ride her because she sat all winter. She was a little bit out of shape, removed from the whole show experience. So she needed a little bit more training to get back into things. And um, I always really liked her. I always really felt connected to her, but obviously she was not for sale. She was a lesson pony. And um, I did say one day to our trainer, you know, if they ever sell that pony, that's the one I want. They have a few at that barn that I want. And, and, but I never really thought that she was on the radar. I never really thought that she would ever be our horse. I never really thought because she, I mean, she already was owned by somebody. So um, the day that I said to our traders, you know, if Gracie ever comes for sale, I'd buy her. Um, Brandon said, that could happen. And I almost fell on the floor and I was like, what? That could happen. And he, they said, yeah, like, you know, they're going through horses. They are rearranging stuff and um, she might become, she might come for sale. And I said, okay, well put me on the list. And uh, then a few weeks later, and I was at the sales bar, or I was at the barn with Fiona and she pretty much told me, hey, Gracie is yours. So we ended up buying her. I didn't have any, I, I had such a minimal amount of decision in the whole thing. I basically said, you know, if that pony ever comes for sale, let me know because I really like her. And she really fit a lot of the criteria. Gracie really fit a lot of the criteria that I needed. Um, I needed a pony. 
I needed something that was small enough for Willow. I don't like putting her in a field with a big, huge horse. I didn't want another horse that was huge. I really believe that God sent her to me, and I know some people won't believe in that, but um, it was the easiest horse I ever bought. It felt like the whole entire thing happened despite me. It happened without me being involved. It happened because she was meant to come into our family, and right or wrong, um, she is ours now, and she's coming here, and we are excited to add her to our life and to our journey and to our story and i know that the story that she came from i know she came from an amazing barn an amazing lesson program an amazing family and now she's going to come and have her own little girls to love her and i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited to share it with you guys and i'm excited um for all the advice you guys are going to give us with gracie So look at these pants. Our friend Joy is wearing them. That's the day by day look on them. They're silver. They are silver. They are so sparkly. And she also has a hashtag day fam shirt. Oh, you want to come home with us too? Uh oh, it's happening. underneath the yellow part it's like white yeah lots of yellow in this cute tail her owner sold us to treat her good because she's a good pony she's such a good little pony she just hopped right on that trailer she loads i guess our horses don't load unless it's on our regular old trailer finn loads he was smiling at me quinty <laughs> Bye friends, they don't know it yet, but they just lost their good friend. It makes me sad. I, I'm a problem with separating, uh, separating families. Did you see on um, Cricket when Gracie was going out the door? Cricket yeah. was like trotting to her? Yeah, trotting to her. It was. So many chances I have lost. He's not okay. He doesn't feel okay. Oh, 
Christy, now you're getting fat with grass. Look at how cute she is, Very actually. So Finn's hair is like pure white. Do you think her hair is pure white or tan? Tan. So apparently she has a passport and we don't have it yet. We didn't get it today. So we'll find out what breed she is, hopefully. You think she's a little quarter pony? She's got a pretty small butt. Hey, Look how tall. To go. Where are they now? Yeah, but after a week, something doesn't feel right. Okay, so Gracie's not used to Welcome home Gracie girl So much heartache in his car It's not okay He doesn't feel okay Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.